Business Editor Ross Greenwood joins me. So, Ross, it's a decent fall. It's still obviously way too high. The big question, will this level of fall combine with other jitters and, of course, retail spending be enough for a pause in rate rises? No, look, it just increases the odds, I think, that the Reserve Bank could pause interest rates when it meets next week. Um, the, the, the fact is the trajectory is going the right way. You can see it here. Uh, so monthly inflation peaked back in December at 8.4%. Uh, now, even today, it was expected to be 7.2%. It's come in at 6.8% which is significantly better than expected. There is some sort of worrying sort of signs. There's inflation that's sort of hanging around uh, with certain things. Electricity is one classic example, 17.2% uh, for the past year, you can see here. Even the price of housing, 9.9% uh, is still way above where you'd like to see it. Holiday travel has really come down, even though it's up 14.9% over the course of the year. The real sign is that it is falling. But the one here is that I think a lot of concentration should be on is the price of fuel. Now, overnight, the price of oil got below $70 US a barrel. Remember, at one stage, it was up around $120 US a barrel. The price of fuel now, on an annual basis, is up by 5.6%, so the cost of transport is lower. Uh, but I think a bit of attention should be paid to this, mainly because the price of fuel at many service stations around Australia is still exorbitantly high back at those levels when the price of oil was around $120 a barrel. Yeah, well, the usual questions will be asked on that. So the other question is beyond the initial pause, Ross, it'll just be up to what? The, the next couple of figures and the RBA will have that initial pause, but with no guarantee that there won't be rate rises ahead of that or after that? Yeah, well, just think about this, though. Even if you've got, you know, sort of the cash rate sitting around 3.8%, and then you go back and you have a little look at um, the fact that inflation here is 6.8% but falling, you've got a big gap between the two. And ideally, the Reserve Bank would like to see the rate of inflation falling even faster back towards where the cash rate is. That gives it more confidence, not just to potentially, you know, stay from the rate rises in the future, uh, but to also also even cut interest rates. So the argument for more rate rises is really the fact that there is still an ongoing gap between where inflation is. But I can tell you one thing, that this better than expected inflation number today has seen the markets pop. So at the opening today, you can see that the markets were down about a quarter of a percent. And you can see that little spike there that happens on the right hand side. That was all about this inflation number coming out right on 11.30 Eastern time. Um, and as a result, you can see the market has held onto the, those gains. So in many ways, the market is anticipating the Reserve Bank will react to these better than expected inflation numbers today.